Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Manpads or man portable air defense system are forward deployed air defense systems widely used across the world. One of the famous manpad in discussion nowadays is a Stinger which was developed by US Army in 1980s. It is a 15 kg shoulder mounted missile that uses infrared sensor to locate an aircraft by its heat. Today we are going to discuss about this infrared sensor in detail. The 1.5 meter long missile travels twice the speed of sound and destroys its target with fragmentation explosives. It is designed to give ground troops a way ahead with low flying airplanes and helicopters. In a significant strategic development, the US has sent shipments of Stinger missiles to Ukraine to fight the Russians. Despite the proliferation claims, US has taken risk of shipping manpads to Ukraine. Now we'll discuss in detail about the role of these manpad in terms of India and what is DRDO's plan to develop this. The Indo-China border across LAC is obstructed by mountains which limits the capability of various radars in detecting aircrafts and especially when they are flying very low hugging the terrains. This is where manpads are going to be very lethal and game changer as it will be able to take down the low flying fighter jets and helicopters at ease. This type of system is used in short range point defense where enemies are very close in the range of 5 to 6 kilometers. The Indian Army and Air Force have been fielding their old Soviet era supplied EGLA manpad systems to meet their respective short range point defense requirements against aerial threats. These systems are almost 4 decades old and need urgent replacement in both the services as part of the overall modernization programs for entire range of air defense weapon. Indian Army alone is in need of 5175 Vishorats missile and 800 launcher system. The figure could easily touch 6000 missiles and 900 to 1000 launchers by adding the Indian Air Force requirement. So talking about DRDO's manpad, it's going to be a state of art system which will feature an autonomous manpad data link AMDL in its launcher. The Hyderabad based Jinder Robotics along with Bharat Electronics Limited is jointly developing autonomous manpad data link ADML system. It is first of its kind air defense solution that brings isolated manpad operators into a networked environment. AMDL is first of its kind mesh networked centrally integrated ARVR enabled and AIML edge enabled last mile C4I system that is capable of connecting multiple manpad operators in a single mesh and link them to a single commander to deliver highest hit rate and zero collateral damage. This will also deliver highest situational awareness for a shooter and maximum degree of control with augmented intelligence and voice commands. Currently. All man portable air defense system or manpads are usually operated by one gunner and observer in very unfriendly environments with almost no linkage to a local command and other operators and are not integrated to the central command center. Generally, this type of technology is used in forward air defense system. DIDO's manpad is also known as MPTMS or VSHORAD. It will also feature dual band infrared homing seeker and multispectral optical seeker. The missile can carry up to 25 kgs of warhead. It will have fire and forget capability. Manpads of DRDO will be able to engage aerial targets in day and night. It will have horizontal range of 6 km and vertical range of 3 km. However, its detection range will be much larger. Now, as per the latest update, TRTO's Vishura development has been fast tracked and expected to complete by first quarter of 2023 and we can expect developmental trials of the system in next few months. Considering the upcoming trials, DRDO is now procuring 20 uncooled imaging infrared seeker for its Vishura. 
The infrared camera used in IIR seeker are of two types, cooled and uncooled one. The cooled cameras are more bulky, expensive and more prone to failures when compared with the uncooled cameras which DIDO is planning to procure. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.